All right, let's get on with it, shall we? Anything you want to add here, Paul, before we launch this one? I think we got a rockin' show tonight, and uh, your hair looks, you know... It's stupid looking. Well, you got a thing coming out the side. Yeah, I know. I didn't ask for that thing. A little kickstand. No it's charge It's a quick for nap that. on a bus. So just... uh... Folks, there must be some confusion here. My first guest is far too classy, an actor, writer, director, and human being to be on this program. He is the winner of numerous Oscars and Emmys, and he can be seen tomorrow night on another network, of course, in a movie called Dead Man's Folly. Please say hello to Peter Ustinov. Hi, Peter. So nice to see you again. How are you? <laughs> Have a seat. Did you have a nice holiday? Yeah, well, it looks it. Yeah. Yes, I did. Enjoying a good year so far? Yes, so, yes. The first 20 minutes were absolutely <laughs> great. Did you travel? Did you go away? You were on vacation? Yes, I was lying on a beach having a nightmare about a white Christmas. Mm -hmm. Where were you? In St. Martin. You know, somebody in the studio audience, a young lady, mentioned that she had run into Andy Williams in Leningrad. Yes, and that's he, uh, he, Jennifer Parker. That's right. Yes. <laughs> it's a small, small community. Uh, do you do you know Jennifer? Yeah, I know her now. Yeah. I remember her now because I was looking at Andy Williams briefly saying, I know that person. And then I said, oh, oh there's, sure. there's Jennifer Parker. <laughs> But she, she mentioned that Andy Williams was uh, uh, being featured on a show called Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and I believe you were also featured on that show. If, if that's the, the show in which I was shown in a, some bathing trunks, rather voluminous ones, uh, on the beach in Fort Lauderdale, uh -huh. and plunged into the water for the benefit of the show between two Portuguese men of war, <laughs> Then I think I've done the show. I yeah. think that's probably the one. Why, why did they want you to do that with the swimming in the water with the man of war? I don't know, but I mean, I've been asked to do many things in my time. Uh -huh. And it was okay and with you? Separating the two men of war, who obviously didn't know the rules in that state. Uh -huh. uh, when you come out of your corner, I want you to saw that. Yeah. Uh, did you ever see that broadcast? No. Yeah. No. Uh, let's, let me ask you some, uh, about some movies you were in and about some people you worked with. Laurence Olivier and uh, Spartacus. What about them? Oh, well, we had one scene. Anything memorable come oh, to mind? Oh, well, yes, yes, yes. We had one scene in which I was supposed to run up to his horse, grab the bit, or whatever this thing is, and that... <laughs> and uh, say to him, divinity. I had to call him divinity. Mm -hmm. Divinity, if I identify Spartacus for you, will you give me the women and the children? He was supposed to say, Spartacus, you found him, and I was supposed to say yes. That was the whole scene. Mm -hmm. you're, you're the slave trader? I was the slave you're... trader, yeah. yes. And I came running in, took the horse as, as best I could, and said, divinity, if I identify Spartacus, Spartacus for you, <laughs> will you give me the women and, <laughs> and the children? And he said, Spartacus? <laughs> you have found him? <laughs> so, of course, I said... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> he said, could you come in a little faster with your yes? <laughs> oh, my. Did you, uh, uh, do you guys get along all right? Did you, were you friends at the time? Oh, Silver? yeah. Oh, no, we get on fine, but yeah. we see through each other. Yeah, yeah. But that's a way of getting on well. Yeah. What about, uh, uh, you worked with Humphrey Bogart? Yeah, if I'd known that he was going to become a cult figure, I would have watched him much closer. Yeah. <laughs> because you never know at No, the time. sure, you've got to be careful. I didn't always understand what he was saying. Mm -hmm. You were working on a film with him called... Uh, uh, we're No Angels. Right. 
Yeah. He was awfully nice man. I enjoyed his company very much. Did you spend social time with him? Yeah, well, he didn't spend social time very much with anybody. He, yeah. He disliked social time. Yeah. Period. But uh, he was a very engaging fellow when he was uh, off duty. Did you drink with the guy? <laughs> Don't remember. <laughs> uh, well, that could mean either yes or no, couldn't it? No, he didn't. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't excessive in his demands. Yeah. Uh, I, I really, I mean, I just treated him as a very nice fellow who was, I was always glad to see. He was sometimes a little bit... Uh, surly in an interesting way, such as I was late to the party at his place because our second daughter had been born and I came straight from the maternity hospital and he was shaking a cocktail for mm -hmm. some people out there. What kind of drink would he mix up? I don't know. That I don't really remember what it was. Was it powerful though? <laughs> I think it was powerful, but I think it was rather complicated with some sugar around the rim and... Oh, really? You had to shoo the flies away before you yeah, drank it. Yeah. Um, but I said, it's a girl. And he said, oh, no. <laughs> and he, I thought this was part of his macho personality. Yeah. I said, you don't like it being a girl? He said, oh, you're welcome to whatever you wish, but I can just hear those women's voices when I go next door and tell them. <laughs> <laughs> and he winked and went in and he said, folks, Peter's just had a girl. Ah! <laughs> he looked at me and said, there you are. Yeah, ruined his evening. That was his, yes. Yeah, yes. okay, we're, we'll do a commercial and then we'll be back here with the Peter Ustinoff, folks, so don't... Uh... Shake it, shake it and hold it next to your ear. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> now, we don't, we don't know why it does that. You don't know why it does No, it? I have no idea. Yeah. It's just some kind of a magic rock with uh, fairies in there, I guess. <laughs> Here's another thing you can do. With. Hold it up to your ear. This is fascinating for the folks at home, isn't it? Now, tap it. Put it right next to your ear and tap it. And thanks for phoning tea and... Uh, oh, that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that what is. is it? I don't know. We don't know, but it's great. You, everybody should Where'd have you, one. Did you I don't, find it or buy no, it? No, our drummer, Steve Jordan, gave this to us. Where'd oh, you really? get this, Stephen? Nebraska. From Nebraska. Oh, it's from Nebraska. From Nebraska, yeah. Uh, you, you, have a, uh, uh, you hold a position of honor in the, the British Empire. What is the, the, the award? There's the honor no that British Empire. There's none of it left. Yeah, yeah, so not much left. It's the sort of place I would hold a position well, of honor. What is the... Uh, <laughs> what, what is the... Uh, what is it? The, uh, it's not the Legion of Merit. It's the high... What are you? A commander of the British Empire? You knew it all the time. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. Yes. Commander of the British yes. Empire. Now, what does that mean? What, what are you entitled to there? Nothing at all. But you're, uh, you're asked to contribute occasionally to the maintenance of the guard's chapel. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's a bit, I haven't uh, I haven't taken enormous interest in all uh, that. Uh, is, it, is it is it like knighthood below just below just below bits? yes. And is it uh, presented to you by the queen? Uh, yes. Yeah. And yes. is it a nice ceremony or is it like you? And I didn't. I wasn't there. It was. I, I, <laughs> well, you're not taking this too seriously, <laughs> no. then, are you? Uh, it was done at an embassy, as far as uh -huh. I, where I was. And how do you become eligible for this? Could I? I couldn't get it. You have to. Be I serious. have no idea. This is like asking why you were invited to a party. You're the last person to answer. Yeah. Why did they invite you? Well, the, the well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. In, in my <laughs> in in my case, the question is, how did I get a show? But, uh, <laughs> Um, now, do you know the Queen? Do you know the, the royal family? Yes. Yeah, and, and, and you know, there was a huge to-do about, uh, uh, what's his name and Princess Di? Uh, is it Al not Albert, Princess, what's his name? Donald. Princess That's a fellow. Of... You got him the first time. Is it Albert? Yeah, no, no, no. No, it's Charles, uh, Charles right. When, when they came to this country, people were just falling all over themselves. Yes, I, I, I know. Now, are you a supporter or a, de or a detractor of the royal family? Oh, I think, they, I think they do a, a hell of a job, yeah. a very difficult job. And I remember I was over here a long time ago when there was a Jinx Falkenberg show. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, it does. Awfully nice people, but they were roaring with laughter because Malcolm Muggeridge or someone had attacked the Queen. 
And they say, what is this? You can, we can laugh at our president, you can't laugh at your queen? Ha, 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 ha. You're doing American. That's an American there, isn't it? That's right. It? Yeah. Yeah. Now, and, when you do and, it, you make Americans sound stupid. We sound a little stupid when you do that. Do it again. No, I don't want to rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I said it isn't quite the same thing because we can criticize our prime minister, which is the same thing as you criticizing your president, the mm -hmm. policies. But the queen is slightly different. She's more like the embodiment of the flag. Can you criticize the American flag? And all the laughter, of course, disappeared no, at can't, once. Everybody, yeah. everybody bridled as though I'd said something absolutely impossible. And I said, I think we're a little more civilized than you because I read in Information Please Almanac that if the American flag drops to the ground by mistake during some ceremony, you're forced to burn it. Right. Whereas if the queen stumbles and falls... <laughs> I said, we tend to help her to yeah. her feet. <laughs> she doesn't automatically have to share the fate of Joan of Arc. No, it's a little, a little different deal a little different. Yeah, yeah. But that's it, really. Uh, well, it's a living embodiment of... Uh, yeah, you know, I saw the, uh, the Queen Mother a year ago in Italy. She was touring around, and she goes in this... Huge, the royal yacht is a very impressive uh, vessel, and then she's accompanied by another big naval... Ship, and I actually got to see her, her hat. She was walking through a crowd and we could see her hat. And I must admit, it was sort of a thrill to see her, although, I, you know, all I did see was her well, hat. Well, she's a wonderful woman. I nice. Must say. Oh, yeah. she's absolutely adorable yeah. and tremendously open-minded. I was the uh, rector of university for six years in Scotland, of which she was the chancellor. And at the inauguration, those were the stormy days of 1968-69, yeah. We were pelted in our official robes with floppy hats and things. I had a mortarboard with a tartan top mm -hmm. because it was a Scottish university. We were pelted with toilet rolls, but by students which kept the end of the thing and sent them, you know, like in yeah. a carnival. Sure. Like this. And she was picking these things up as though somebody had dropped them, saying, mm -hmm. does this belong to you? <laughs> And it absolutely disarmed yeah. the most uh, <laughs> rabid students who became like lambs. Right. Wanted to return them to their rightful owners. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Peter, it's nice to see you again. I'm glad you're having a good year so far. Dead Man's Folly, this is on what? I guess, uh, when is this going to be on? Tomorrow night. Is this a good, a good film? Yes, it was with Jean Stapleton, who's wonderful. Oh, she's terrific. Oh, she's terrific. Yeah, okay. Nice to see you again. Thank you very nice much for your time. Nice to be seen by you. Sure. You're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll be back here after station identification.